Good afternoon. Today I wanted to talk about how to see what classwork and what assignments have been turned into your classroom in a Google Classroom. So first thing I brought up an old class. So the first thing I like to do is click on classwork because that's where students will turn things in. And then I have everything in Avid um, organized by the different topics that we use. And so I'm going to scroll down to one where I think people actually have submitted work as opposed to filling out something else. So um, to see what assignments have been submitted for this particular assignment, I'm going to click on the actual assignment. And then you'll notice it tells you how many have been turned in, how many have, are assigned, and how many have, have been graded since you last did a grading session. So typically I won't even look at this until the assignment has, uh, the, the due date has expired. And then I can look at it and I can see what's going on. Um, this isn't a great example because there are none that have been turned in. Let me see if I can find one. Well, it looks like I've graded most everything, but when I am in here, I can click on the, um, the view assignment down here and that will take me to where I actually did the, um, the, the posted the assignment. If I want to see the instructions, then I click on instructions and it will tell me what I was asking the students to do. And then to see the student work, right? go back to student work. And there are a different, couple different ways you can organize this. Um, typically, it will by default organize folks who have missing work and then work that has been turned in and graded. And so that's um, by default how, how things have been done. You can change the way that it sorts. I could sort by last name. That's also convenient. Uh, and so you can scroll through the list. Um, so that's one way that you can see what's been going on. The other way you can do it is just by looking up here at the very top. And so if I want to see who it has been assigned to but has not yet turned anything in, then there is one student who did not turn work in. I can click to see, okay, who has turned work in that I haven't graded? And there is no one at this point. And then if I wanted to see my graded assignments, I can click on the graded work and it takes me uh, just to the folks who have turned work in. And so that's how I go about seeing what students have done, what they, who, who still needs to turn some work in. And from there, I can go ahead and start grading things. 